Winter, we decided to, to come all all the team together, all the Nipai team together on Maui and train. And uh, I think it's really good because uh, we have Matthias, we have uh, Enrico, we have uh, Julian is here and uh, Sebastian. Arnon and Gasper arrive soon, so it's really good to be all together. We can test a lot, we train a lot, we go around the buoys in Kana, uh, we do some start. I think it's, it's really good to prepare the, the 2014 season. It's very nice to be on, on this team. I'm, I'm really happy that, uh, that I get the opportunity to train with the best guys in the world. And Twang and Julian and Enrico and Matteo are also good. Uh, we have a really good relationship to each other. We train together, we help each other. Uh, I think I could not uh, imagine any better way to get ready for the season uh, than this. I think New Pride team is the best team in the world because uh, we have the best sailor in the world uh, and the best sails. Yeah, I come for, in for the camp for training Salam uh, very, very good for the season. For sure I'll try my, my, my best to finish for the top three and uh, maybe uh, one, maybe. <laughs> Two guys from the team are top three guys, you know, and we are now in the house and everybody in the house are world champion except me, it doesn't matter the class, but you know, level is high and it's really nice to be part of this team, but it also push, push you to work hard, to train more and to become better and to deserve to be in this team. It's like a serenade, so let's get synchronized, kick it to all the drive. The downhaul on the sail on the new Evo 6 is really important. So you really have to, to set it at the right point. So there's two main things uh, who can happen is you have too much downhaul tension or not enough. So if it's too much downhaul tension, you will feel it on the water because the board will be flying a lot. Uh, your nose will be really high and it's going to be really hard to control the board. I just went in the water and uh, it was feeling good, but the, the board was flying a little bit. So I think I have a little bit too much downhaul tension. So I'm gonna release like a half a cm to see if it's better. So small change can make a big difference. So now I release a little bit uh, the downhaul tension. So I'm pretty sure my boat's gonna be more sitting on the water, not flying anymore. I normally see that people when they change settings, they always go big, you know, like this much more or this much uh, less, and it's too much. So just go step by step, five mil, 1 cm maximum. Also, if you don't have enough downhaul tension, the leech, the top leech is going to be really tight and uh, you will feel it easy on the water as well because uh, you will make the sail uh, kind of heavy, a lot of power and uh, the nose of the bar will be sticking the water. The sail will be trying to, uh, to pull you forward like falling. What we normally see uh, on the beach, like people using the sails, it's, uh, it's always not enough downhaul tension because it's, uh, it's kind of hard to pull, uh, to pull the downhaul tension. So mainly the main, uh, the main mistake that people do, it's like normally not enough downhaul tension. So not be scared to, to pull a little bit more on, uh, on your downhaul. So the tight strap tension is quite important as well. You can uh, put some tension or not put tension. So um, when you put some tension at the tack strap, it will uh, make a little bit more power in the, in the cell. The cell will be more sh will have more shape in the bottom. So actually, I will I always recognize that if you sail on a place where it's kind kind of flat water, you can put a lot of uh, tack strap because you need some power. If you go where it's really really choppy, it's always better to release it because it will uh, it will make the it will make the cell to breathe a little bit more and uh, it will be much easier to handle the sail. So for the boom height, uh, it's always better to have it a little bit higher in the light wind when you use a bigger, a bigger board uh, because you lie more down with the sail and, uh, and, the, and the water is normally flat as well so you can have a lot of control. 
and uh, as soon as the, you reduce the board and you go to a place where it's kind of choppy, it's always better to have the boom a little bit lower. You get more control, more down on itself, more sitting in the harness. So for the harness line, it's always uh, better to have the, the harness line a little bit shorter when you use the, the waist harness than the seat harness. I normally use all the time the waist harness, uh, even if it's light or if it's really windy. But uh, some people use sometimes the seat harness in the light wind condition to sit a little bit more on the harness to, to get more power from the cell. And the waist harness, people use it normally if it's really choppy, really windy because uh, you are a little bit closer to the cell, you have more control, it's easier to hook in and hook out. So. Every cell is designed on a specific mass, so you have to use the, the, the special mass for that cell. So if you use the wrong mast, uh, it will, uh, you will have hard time to, uh, to tune up the cell right and for sure, uh, for sure the cell will not feel uh, really good on the water and it's going to be maybe a little bit harder to, to go fast and uh, to have fun on the water. So I really recognize to, to use the right mast for the right cell, it will be much better on the water. So if your cell is really uh, too stiff, it will be hard to, to go fast and have control because the cell will be moving a lot like this, uh, give you too much power and really hard to control the board as well. And if you use the cell which is uh, too soft, you will lose a lot of power like in the low hand, you know, it will be hard to, to, to get power when you shit in. You will, the, the cell will be open and will be soft and you will lose a lot of uh, power and speed. So we have two grammet on the cell, one in the bottom, one in the top. So um, we normally use the, uh, the bottom one for slalom sailing because uh, it, it gets uh, more opening on the leech, it goes a little bit faster, makes the board a little bit more free. And as soon as we go light wind or if you want to go up wind a little bit, you use the top one. Uh, you get a little bit more power from the top of the cell. So for the out uh, it's always good to have the adjustable system on the boom because you can change the, the shape of the cell during sailing. So I always leave the cell really full when I go downwind and when I go upwind, I always tight a little bit more to get less power in the cell. For the button tension, you always have to put a little bit more tension on the, on the bottom uh, buttons than on the top because that's what uh, will give you the shape in the cell and the stability as well. So for the two bottom buttons, you can use the special Allen key so you don't need to open the bat cam. You insert the Allen key in, uh, in, inside and then you screw it to put tension and you unscrew it to take out the tension. <laughs> go, 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 go,